We're joining you today from the office of Patty Hart, Chief Executive Officer of International Game Technology here in Las Vegas, a leading developer and supplier of electronic gaming equipment, software, and networks. Patty Hart, welcome to Channel 99 and Anthem Alive. I'm glad to be here. But before we get into the particulars of IGT, Patty, please tell our Channel 99 viewers a little bit about you and how you came to live in Las Vegas. Well, first of all, I'll say I'm proud to be living in Las Vegas. I've um, absolutely fallen in love with this city. Um, I took a circuitous route, grew up in the Midwest, and uh, have relocated my family now 12 times. Um, and we think we found our home here in Las Vegas. So I came here to run IGT. Uh, so it was coincident with coming into IGT three and a half years ago. Um, but now um, that I call Las Vegas home, I'm proud to do so. Great. And Patty, uh, many of our viewers may not be familiar with IGT. How does a game technology company achieve annual revenues of $2 billion? Well, we do it by uh, first building the best products. Um, and we do distribute our products around the globe. So um, on six continents, we have 65 um, offices in, on six continents. And so everywhere that people game, whether it's uh, lottery style or it's in a casino or it's um, uh, using software online, um, we provide our products and services on a, on a very broad basis. So it's really about reach. I think that's how we get to $2 billion. That's great. And how many local staff do you employ here in the Las Vegas Valley? In Las Vegas, we have just shy of 1,000 uh, employees on our payroll. Uh, we have a significant number of additional contractors, obviously, so we keep uh, a fair amount of people employed here in the Las Vegas area. We are uh, the largest payrolled employer in the state of Nevada, um, which is great for us. We don't have the highest number of people, but because uh, the average pay for our employees, being a lot of engineers and designers, is higher, uh, we do enjoy the position of being the highest payrolled employer in Nevada. Well, congratulations, yeah. and uh, that's great news for our local economy. <laughs> uh, you have offices in Reno and elsewhere? We do, and uh, we have a number of offices, um, as I said, 65 offices um, on six continents. Uh, our manufacturing is done in Reno, um, so we're proud to say that we uh, make products for the U.S. in the U.S. Um, so we do our manufacturing for our global um, business from Reno, so we have a significant number of employees, um, probably near uh, 3,000 employees in the Reno area. Um, as well and um, have uh, at one time that was our corporate headquarters so our corporate headquarters is now here in Las Vegas uh, for a whole host of reasons including travel convenience of travel uh, but we're proud to um, have been birthed in in Reno. Great and you have Beijing facilities uh, and where are they located in that enormous city? Yeah, so they're located in the university area of Beijing. It has grown uh, over three years, it's only open three years, our facility in Beijing. So yeah. we've gone from no employees in China to now uh, nearly 400 people that we keep employed. Oh, that's remarkable. Yeah, the Haidian district is, uh, we, we used to call it the uh, Silicon Valley of China. That's exactly right. There's And, and, and I think it's uh, so many technology companies are headquartered there um, down the street. When you look out of our office building, you see the brand names of every technology company from the U.S. Um, so the competition for talent is fierce, but there's very few gaming companies um, in Beijing, so we've been able to differentiate ourselves that way. Mm -hmm. And what, what is your most popular product? Wow, I mean, historically, well, obviously, we're proud to say that we are the owner and designer and developer of the most successful slot machine in the world, which is Wheel of Fortune. Mm -hmm. It's the product that everybody knows and loves. So we're lucky to have the largest game library um, on the planet, actually, when it comes to chance-based gaming experiences. Um, but some appeal, uh, obviously, like Wheel of Fortune uh, more broadly than others. What game do you like to play? Well, Lucky Larry's Lobster Mania is one of my favorites, I have to admit. Uh, I like Mystical Mermaid. When I um, go into the casinos, I traditionally do not play our machines for regula regulatory purposes, so I uh, end up playing the uh, competitors' games more often than, than our games. Patty, is there anything else you'd like to share with our Channel 99 audience? Well, I would like to say, first of all, thank you for tuning in. I mean, I think the whole notion of Channel 99 is something that's so remarkable to have something in your own neighborhood uh, where you can share and be informed. I think it's, it's pretty amazing. Well, Patty Hart, thank you for joining us on Anthem Alive. And viewers, 
be on the lookout for IGT's great products on your way to the buffet line. Well, that's it from the office of Patty Hart, Chief Executive Officer of International Game Technology. I'm Kevin Dauphiny for Channel 99. Zai Jen.